Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Evelyn and it's great to see you here. Again, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone for your support. This week marked my first month on YouTube and I am so overwhelmed and grateful, so thank you. I'd also like to do a massive shout out to Karen and everyone else out there who created berets based on last week's video. This has taken me by complete and utter surprise. In the first instance, I wasn't even sure anyone would view my content, let alone create something from it. This has me on cloud nine and I've been smiling all week and my cheeks actually hurt. So, for this week's video, a very sleepy Luna and I have taken on a little mission. It's pretty impossible right now not to realise that it is about to be Valentine's Day. So whether or not you celebrate Valentine's Day, it's a great reason to have a little bit of self-love in your life. Usually around this time of year, I create myself one new dress for my wardrobe. But this year, we're going to create two new Valentine's Day dresses. Yes, you heard it. I'm crazy. Two new dresses one week. So, come with Luna and I, a very sleepy Luna and I, as we create some Valentine's Day dresses. Are you snoring? Often I begin a project with an inspiration sketch, but sometimes the inspiration comes first from fabric itself, and that is the case with this Valentine's Day project. I have had this black scuba in my stash for quite some time, but I recently purchased this beautiful dusky pink lightweight scuba and this gorgeous heart patterned lycra elastane blend. And these were the inspiration for these designs today. As always, I began this project by sketching out my designs. The first design is this self-drafted sweetheart dress and the second dress is going to be my version of the Gertie Joan wiggle dress. I love this part of creating. It gives me a chance to chill out and relax with Luna, watch some television while still indulging in some sketching. Pattern drafting is one of my favourite parts of creating and here I am creating the pattern that I am going to use to create my sweetheart dress. If pattern drafting is something you would like to learn a little bit more about, pop me a comment below letting me know and we'll get some more of it on the channel really soon. we have the finished drafted pattern for my sweetheart bodice. I am going to do one more step for this particular version of the dress because I am using a knit scuba fabric and because I want this to be a nice easy project because I've taken on two dresses this week, I am going to remove the dart from the back bodice piece closing it like so and just creating one piece that doesn't require any darts. One less step to have to do. Mm -hmm. 
So here are my finished pattern pieces. I am going to use a gathered skirt on this pattern, so I am simply going to draft that straight onto my scuba fabric using two to three times my waist measurement, then simply gathering it into the bodice. I started by constructing the bodice using a stretch needle in my machine and a standard straight stitch, stretching the fabric slightly as I went. I then used two lines of basting stitches to gather my skirt to fit the waistline of my bodice. I then took the bodice and skirt sections of my sweetheart dress and pinned them together at the waistline, ensuring an even distribution of gathers all the way along the waist. Taking the garment over to my machine, I am going to use a standard straight stitch all the way along the waistline to join the bodice and skirt sections, stretching the fabric slightly as I sew. For this project I installed an invisible zip and I'm really happy with the results. Happily as well, the zip I ordered online was the perfect colour to match my fabric, which doesn't always happen. So how unbelievably cute is this little package? And there is a wee story behind it. This week, my printer decided it wasn't going to work anymore. And although I have since purchased a new one because they are handy to have around the house, impatient Evelyn needed the pattern to create her Joan dress. So, after looking at recommendations online, I decided to go with Flamingo Prints and they are based in the UK. And look what came through my door this morning. How sweet is that? And I ordered this on a Sunday evening and it arrived Wednesday morning. Again, in the Highlands of Scotland, that is incredible for delivery. So I'm going to get this open and I've never actually seen a piece of AO paper, let alone AO printed. So <laughs> I think what I'll do is get this opened and then I'll get a different camera angle to show you the printed product. <gasps> I'm actually really excited about this. So it turns out that an AO sized sheet is the equivalent of 16 pages of A4. It's absolutely <laughs> massive. The process of ordering from Flamingo Prints was incredibly easy. Using my iPhone, I uploaded the file I wanted to print and it really was that simple. 
And if a technophobe like me can do it, then anyone can. And I am definitely going to use their services again. Having skipped the printing process, here I am tracing the Joan Wiggle dress pattern onto some pattern tracing paper. I've chosen to do this so that I can keep the original printed pattern intact. This means that I will be able to use it in future and also in different sizes too. Next up, here I am pinning my Joan pattern to my chosen fabric. And here I am cutting out my Joan dress. I'm using my pinking shears here and I tend to use these on more difficult and stretch fabrics. It just makes it a lot easier for me to cut out the pieces. Also, it means I don't have to do any seam finishing later on on an unlined garment like this. So there's also a bit of multitasking involved too. Constructing the Joan dress was incredibly easy, fast and really satisfying. I really do recommend this project for anyone who wants to start working with a stretch fabric. As I always say, arm yourself with a narrow zigzag stitch on your machine and a stretch or ballpoint needle and it makes sewing with stretch fabrics an absolute breeze. And now it's time to reveal these creations. This sweetheart dress was so much fun to make, but it wasn't without its challenges. Like most first versions of new designs, it required some tweaks. And I would suggest if you do give pattern drafting a go to start with a cheaper fabric first. But my number one piece of advice is just to be kind and patient with yourself and with your creations. And don't resign them to the bin on the first issue, especially if like me, you do have your limitations. Just give yourself some time and space and if it's causing you to stress out then go and have a cuppa, leave it for today and come back to it with a clearer, fresher head tomorrow. I adore Gertie's designs and this Joan dress just makes me feel fabulous. This quick and easy project is also perfect for my top tip of cutting down tasks into manageable 30 minute sections. For me, this means less pain, it tackles my stubbornness and yet I still see satisfying tangible results within those shorter time periods. Another top tip is to have a sliding scale for your projects of good, better and best. For example here, good for my sweetheart dress would have been no sleeves and simple straps. Better would have been closer to my original design and best would have had this version as a mock-up, then making adjustments to the dress and pattern and remaking it precisely. The important thing though is that all three levels are acceptable and we need to give ourselves some love and a pat on the back every time we try anything because it's the fact that we're trying that is the success here and we really do need to celebrate this. So 
there you have it. One week and two dresses. I absolutely love creating new dresses for my wardrobe, especially ones that make me feel great. And these two are no exception to that. It's great fun getting a new design and drafting a new design, but it's equally as fun to get hold of a new pattern you haven't tried before, like the Joan Wiggle dress and give it a go. So until next week, from a sleeping Luna and I, goodbye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>